Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of your Raw Review, Raw Reaction Show. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas. As always, one-fourth of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can hear on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM each and, Thursday night, each and every Thursday night. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, as well as YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell for the notification and that subscribe button. And let's get started to the Raw Reaction Show here. If you watched Monday Night Raw from this past Monday night, you saw that at the start of Raw, you had Baron Corbin, who invited the whole Raw roster out to the Rams to announce the captains for Monday Night Raw. He also had Alexa Bliss come out that she would be captaining the women's team on Monday Night Raw as well. Uh, but the men's captain, Baron Corbin, said he was going to be the captain. And we had Kurt Angle come out and say that he should be the captain, which eventually set up a match later on the night for Baron Corbin to take on Kurt Angle to see who will be the captain of the Monday Night Raw team. But that did not happen because of Braun Strowman coming out and attacking Baron Corbin several times throughout the night find it, try to find him in closets and storage rooms but to the point where Baron Corbin left and he gave his uh, assignment of his match or told Drew McIntyre that he will be in the match against Kurt Angle which would be the main event later on in the evening to see who will be the captain of the Monday Night Raw team First match of the night, we saw the Riot Squad take on Natalia, Sasha Banks, and Bailey. Uh, the Riot Squad here uh, fighting Natalia, getting the best of the Bailey and Sasha Banks. Really was no winner of this match. This match went off about 17 minutes, 17 and a half minutes, almost 20 minutes, and didn't get a winner of the match. But the significance of this match was to saw that Ruby Riot in the Riot Squad took Natalia's glasses that her father had given her. Uh, Jim the Anvil, the late Jim the Anvil Nightheart, and stepped on him and crushed him and gave gave Natalia opportunity to grieve, gave Natalia opportunity to cry, and she was comforted later on by Sasha Banks and Bailey. A good storyline here that WWE's doing. Um, good for Natalia to allow them to use the storyline of her father passing to develop her character even the more. Uh, then we move on to the next match of the evening where we saw. We saw Apollo Crews defeat Jinder Mahal, and I say it each and every week, every time I see Jinder Mahal on television, they need to do something with Jinder Mahal. This was a very quick match, about two to three minute match. Uh, Jinder Mahal, former world champion, former WWE champion, former US champion, and now I know they're trying to get Apollo Crews started again since he left Titus worldwide. Uh, they're trying to get him started again. But at the expense of Jinder Mahal, Jinder Mahal was a main eventer just a year ago. Uh, almost a year ago because he lost the title prior to a Survivor Series pay-per-view to AJ Styles, which we, AJ Styles went on to face Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. But nonetheless, Jinder Mahal is a good wrestler, good competitor, and since being back on Raw, they're jobbing him out. Come on, let's start a chant. We want gender. We want gender. But good win for Apollo Crews. Then we moved on to the Raw Tag Team. Then we moved on to Elias taking on Dolph Ziggler. Elias took on Dolph Ziggler. Very good match. Couple segment match here between these two guys. Elias is a worker. Every time I see Elias, more and more does he look like Macho Man Randy Savage coming up the top rope. Oh, yeah. Uh, but we see uh, Elias pick up the win over Dolph Ziggler in a very good match between these two gentlemen. Uh, look forward to more matches between Dolph Ziggler and Elias further down the road. Good face turn for Elias. A good time for it. WWE needed to create another face that had a lot of fan appeal since Roman Reigns left to handle his leukemia. And it looks like that f new face is Elias. Who wants to walk with Elias? Many of the fans do. Then we moved on to Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey comes out and make a very good promo, cut a very good promo towards against Becky Lynch. Uh, saying, look, I, I am who I am. and you want to face me, we'll face each other at Survivor Series. I will defeat you. Basically, I will beat you. I've won everywhere I've been. You got the disarmor. I got the armbar. Let's see, let's get it on. Let's get it done. Each week, Ronda Rousey's getting better and better with her promos, more realistic. She's getting comfortable with what she's doing in professional wrestling. And as I say it, she is the best woman in wrestling right now. She might not be the best wrestler, but she's the one who put butts in seats. And that's what you want if you're a promoter. And the WWE's doing a great job with Ronda Rousey. Uh, then we moved on to Ember Moon taking on Nia Jax here. Uh, saw this match last week. Saw this match a week before. Uh, these two friends are getting it on in the ring. Still had a little bit of beef from the Evolution pay-per-view since Nia Jax eliminated Ember Moon. Ember Moon's coming fresh off her wedding uh, that she just had to her husband. Uh, so Ra Ember Moon and Ra Nia Jax get along in the ring. He get it on in the ring here. Uh, then we saw Tamina get involved in this match after the win. Nia Jax pinned Ember, pinned Ember Moon. Tamina comes out, and we think we're gonna get a face off between Nia Jax and Tamina. Uh-uh, wrong answer. Nia Jax and Tamina uh, 
double team Ember Moon. The two Samoan women are working together, and we just saw the heel turn of Nia Jax. Nia Jax is no longer a face. She returned to her heelish ways, and she is now a heel aligned with Tamina to destroy the women's division in WWE, which makes sense. Ronda Rousey is the champion. She's the biggest face. Nia Jax is going to eventually take on Ronda Rousey because she's won that, that battle royal at Evolution. So it makes sense that Nia Jax becomes a heel. You don't want two faces matching off. Let the fans be able to choose who they want to go against, uh, who they want to cheer for, whether it's Nia Jax or Ronda Rousey. Good move by WWE. Then we went on to the Tag Team Championship match of the night. Held this one off for this point uh, where we saw AOP taking on Seth Rollins match was made by Baron Corbin before he left the building. You know what happened here. AOP just defeated Seth Rollins. There were too much for Seth Rollins. He couldn't tag out. He just got tired. AOP is your new Raw Tag Team Champion. We predicted this a couple weeks ago where we saw when we saw Dean Ambrose turn on Seth Rollins, it makes much sense that AOP becomes your Tag Team Champions now. Other teams like the Revival, the B Team uh, can actually get a shot here at AOP for the tag team title. Then we saw Dean Ambrose come out and address a hurt and injured Seth Rollins in this match. And, and basically, he just gave the dirty deeds to Seth Rollins again and put Seth Rollins out. The way that WWE's building Dean Ambrose is excellent. Uh, Dean Ambrose comes out of nowhere, continue to be, I don't want to call him a, a viper, but continue to be a, a thorn in Seth Rollins' inside. And I can't wait for these two guys to get it on. Hopefully, it won't be at Survivor Series since, Dean, since Seth Rollins will be taking on just gay not more, but definitely at table lads and cheers we see a match between Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose where the WWE to close the year with these two guys feuding and hopefully it may go into next year uh, 2019 as well then we move on to the main event of the evening where we saw Drew McIntyre taking on Kurt Angle uh, for the captain of the Raw team Drew McIntyre carrying a good match Kurt Angle still has moves in the ring and can still work very well but at the end of this, it was Drew McIntyre, the young upstart, the, the the heartbeat of the WWE, the man that will be eventually WWE champion, putting Kurt Angle in the angle lock and making Kurt Angle submit as Monday Night Raw get ready to go off the air. He also hit Kurt Angle with the angle slam as well. Drew McIntyre will be the captain of the Monday Night Raw team as they face off against the SmackDown team at Survivor Series just a little over a week away. Uh, Monday Night Raw was a good Monday Night Raw, pretty decent for what it was being taped in Manchester, England. Try to stay away from the spoilers and watch this thing live. Felt the crowd. The crowd was chanting, as you do most European crowds. Very good, um, very good atmosphere at the Manchester in Manchester, England. WWE put on a good pro, good program here and a good show. Thanks for watching Monday Night Raw. It was good. Uh, let me know what your grades are. Is it thumbs up, thumbs down? Do you enjoy the fact that Drew McIntyre is the captain of Monday Night Raw? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Always hit us up on Twitter. Hit us up on iTunes at WME Podcast. And catch us out this, check, check us out this Thursday night as we drop another episode of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. As always, if you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. End of story. Good night.